strong peachy sort of a color. Just beautiful. Why am I holding my hand like a claw? Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got another top five video for y'all today, and today is going to be my top five favorite highlighters, which this was really difficult to do because I feel like there are so many beautiful highlighters out there and so many that I love, so I could have done top 10, maybe even top 20 favorite highlighters because I just, I love highlighters and there's a lot of good ones out there. So I narrowed it down to five, but it was challenging. So anyway, got five here, so let's get to it. I have to mention my NYX Strobo Genius Illuminating Palette. This is really like lots of favorite highlighters in one palette. I mean, that's one thing I love about it so much is that you get lots of variety. You've got some really like pretty kind of traditional sort of highlighters in here, but then you also have some kind of like funky fun ones as well, like a, a yellow and like the purpley one, but then, you know, you've got your like more traditional kind of like rose gold and like a goldy champagne -y sort of a color. These are really, really beautiful. I am so impressed with this palette. I love it. I think if you're like wanting to play around with highlighters, this is a great option because you've got so many different color options in here. But also they, um, they're they really nicely pigmented and they blend really well and they're beautiful, but they're not that like really scary sort of a highlighter that you just have to like barely tap your brush into. I feel like these are a little bit easier to use um, if you're new to highlighting. You know what I mean? Just really, really beautiful. I mean, look at those colors. And just unique. I mean, like, that's really unique, that kind of purpley color. So really, really beautiful, affordable. I think it's around 18-ish dollars or so. So yeah, $18, but you get a lot of different colors in here. Then my Makeup Geek highlighters. These are so beautiful. Technically, I'm cheating a little bit because I have two here, but I mean, I could have gone with either of these, like including these in my top five because these are both gorgeous colors, but I really just love the formula of these highlighters. So I picked out Luster and Daybreak. So Luster is kind of like a pinky, peachy champagne sort of a color. I have a little bit, no, I have a little bit of the other one. Never mind. I don't have a little bit of this one on. I have a little bit of the other one on, but this one is really, really pretty. So Luster, peachy, champagne, gorgeous. These have a really nice texture to them. They're like, oh, I don't even know how to describe them. They're like just a perfect texture because they're buttery, they're pigmented, but they're not don't know why I'm doing that, but they're not like <laughs> hard to use. You know what I mean? This is this one. This one is Daybreak. So this one's kind of like a peachy, like a really strong peachy sort of a color. Just beautiful. Why am I holding my hand like a claw? I don't know. I'm doing this. I'm doing claws. All kinds of craziness <laughs> happening in this video. So Daybreak, gorgeous peachy color. I just love the formula on these because they're, they're that buttery, super pigmented sort of a formula, but they're easy to work with. Like they blend well. So that one is Daybreak and that one is Luster. I could have chosen either of them, but they blend well. So they're easy to work with. They're just a really nice formula. So gorgeous. She has a bunch of different colors. So all skin tones, she's got an option for you. I love that about her. She always thinks about every skin tone when she comes out with products and she did that with her highlighters and these two are gorgeous and I just love them. Then a super affordable option. This is the e.l.f. Baked Blush in Pinktastic. I am just obsessed with this little thing. I mean, this little thing is so good and so affordable. I wore this um, in my sister's wedding because that's how much I love it. It's like a champagne -y peach kind of a color. It's really just like perfection just amazing. Now this is more of, it's a baked product. So it's kind of like that, I don't even know. You know that noise, like that baked noise that it makes, it's just kind of a little bit like on the drier side, but it's not flaky or anything like that. It's a really nice texture to it, but it does feel differently than non-baked products. You know what I mean? So is that not amazing? It's amazing on your cheekbones. It's amazing on the inner corner of your eyes. It's amazing on your eyelids. 
It's just beautiful. One of my very favorite highlighters, top five, and it's like three bucks. You can't go wrong. Now for this one, you can't be afraid of wabam highlighters because this one is like, holy moly, wabam highlighter. This is the Ofra highlighter in Beverly Hills. And it's got all these different little sections to it. Now my like bronzy one, I think looks a little funny because I really don't ever use that one. I kind of like avoid it because I have a lighter skin tone, but if you have a darker skin tone, like medium to deep skin tone, you could definitely incorporate that one. But that makes it a little bit too dark for me as a highlighter. So that's why it's like all the product kind of collects over there. But anyway, so you got your different parts to it. So you can either use it individually. You can use it as shadows. You can swirl it all together and I do all those things. Like I've worn these as shadows. I use them individually. I swirl them all together. Now as just like my regular highlight, like if I'm just going, I want a highlighter for my cheekbones, I'll swirl all of them together except for that bronze. I like bronzy sort of a color. And it makes like a, like a white champagne. Yeah, but a little bit peachy too. I mean, it really just kind of depends. Of course, it looks different when you swatch it with a brush versus like swatching with my finger, you know, with a brush, you really like get all the stuff, but oh my gosh, it's amazing. It's a very light color if you avoid the bronzy shade. So it ends up being super light, but if you bring in that bronze, it changes it. So that's the way that I wear it just like that. But let me show you like all of it swirled together. Oh, I guess so sad looking when you swirl it all together. So this makes it like peachier peachier, bronzier, darker. So there it is. So you can see, I mean, it, it pretty significantly changes it if you um, use that color versus not. So amazing, such good quality, love it. But it is one that when you use it, literally just tap your brush in it. Don't swirl it back and forth or you will have like just highlighter everywhere. You will have way too much highlighter. So just barely tap your brush because a little bit goes a long, long way with this highlighter. It's so pretty. And then last one in my top five, this is the Moon Play Cosmetics Stroboscope Hyper Flash Powder, and this is in Vow. This is a big old container for this. I'm gonna have this forever. So huge container on it, but this product is so beautiful. This is the main highlighter that I have on today, and then I have a little bit of Makeup Peaks um, Daybreak, and I have a little bit of this on the inner corner of my eyes, but also a little bit of Daybreak because they go really well together. But this by itself is incredible too. I mean, I didn't need to bring in Daybreak because it's really, really pretty by itself. This powder, oh my gosh, it is like fairy dust, just unicorn highlighter. It's so gorgeous. It is so, so beautiful. It's a very kind of like pinky light golden champagne sort of color, but it does have quite a bit of pink in it. And it does have micro shimmer, but not chunky glitter. It's just really, really tiny, finely, finely milled micro shimmer, which just makes it amazing. Absolutely amazing. It's amazing on the skin. It blends like a dream. It wears really well throughout the day. I mean, I can look in the mirror at six o'clock at night and I put my highlight on at eight in the morning and it's, I still see highlight. So it's just an amazing product. So beautiful. So many different things happening with it. It's just awesome. I mean, yeah, that's, I'm going to have this forever and I'm okay with that because I love it that much. <laughs> All right guys, so those are my top five favorite highlighters, at least as they stand right now. But you know, things change, new products come out, preferences change, just favorites sometimes change. But these are my favorites as of right now. I love all five of these and I think that they are just amazing. So hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what your top five favorite highlighters are. I would love to know that. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.